On Sunday the 11th of December, Hertfordshire Fire and Rescue Service was called to an incident in the Bunsfield area of Hemel Hempstead. Little did the service know that it was about to tackle one of Europe's largest fires since World War II, amongst a scene of utter devastation. The depot, a major distribution terminal operated by Total and part owned by Texaco, storing oil, petrol as well as kerosene, supplies airports across the region. As the country's fifth largest fuel distribution depot, it is also used by BP and British Pipeline. In the early hours of that December morning, two explosions followed the first at the site near Junction 8 on the M1, closing the motorway for 12 hours. In total, 22 fuel tanks were involved, holding 100 million litres of fuel. The massive blaze raged for four days at the fuel depot, pouring thick clouds of smoke over large parts of southern England. 1,000 firefighters fought the blaze over the four-day period, using the latest equipment available from the county and other fire services nationally. Hertfordshire Fire and Rescue strategy involved the use of high volume pumps to supply the largest foam attack the UK has ever seen. The emergency services unprecedented response involved police, ambulance and all members of the Hertfordshire Resilience Forum. 2,000 people living near the site were evacuated. Properties were damaged up to three kilometres away, with some members of the public reporting effects from the explosion as far away as Oxfordshire. The blasts were reportedly heard in a number of counties, and even France and the Netherlands. The planning and expertise brought the fire under control, with no loss of life or major injury.